Hi guys, welcome to the session. My name is Prakash, Math Tutor. Let's solve the question which I have written on the whiteboard. See here, from the top of a 15 a meter high building, the angle of evolution of the cable tower is 60. Okay, 60 degrees. And the angle of depression of its foot is 30 degrees. So we need to find the height of the tower. Let's draw the diagram first. See here, one building on top of that, one tower, so which is the which is the top of a tower, top of the tower. And this is the top of the building. A given from the top of 15 meter high building. So which is the height of the building is 15 meters. This is 15 meter then. So this angle is angle of evolution of the cable tower, the 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot which means this one, this one is the 30 degree, yeah this one is 30 degree. And uh, yeah. let's say x is the height of the tower from the building and x plus the building height is 15 meet 15 meter rather so so x plus 15 is the total height of the tower. So that's what here. So x is height of the tower from building. And then x plus 15, here 15 is the height of the building. So x plus 15 is the total height, the complete height of the tower. Now we need to find that, x plus 15. And let's say y be the ground, length of the ground. I mean length of the base of the building. Well, yeah, this one. This one is the Y. The ground line. And the same applies in the top as well. See here, we have two rectangles, two, I mean, two triangles, right angle triangles. Just take those triangles, which is angle of dip evolution. First, let's take the first one as angle of evolution, which is just top of. Uh, the building so in that angle is 60 degree and the opposite side is x and the adjacent side is y we know that the tan theta is equals to opposite divided by adjacent so tan theta is equals to uh, opposite so tan theta is 60 degree so tan theta is equals to opposite is x x divided by y if you move y to this sign, we'll get x is equals to y into tan 60 degrees. What is the value of tan 60? We know that it's root 3. So square root 3 y. So x is equals to square root 3 y. Okay. Now take the angle of depression. Angle of depression see here 
in angle of depression the angle is 30 degree where opposite side is 15 and adjacent side is y so tan 30 degrees equals to opposite side is 15 meters so 15 divided by y and we know that the tan 30 value is 1 by root 3 or else just move that cross multiplicate and uh, move the tan 30 to right hand side so y is equal to 15 divided by tan 30 and tan 30 value is 1 by root 3 yeah so 15 divided by 1 by root 3 so y is equal to 15 into root 3 so this is the value of y now substitute this y is equal to 15 root 3 into the x and so we have got both equations anyway so equate both the equations so x is equal to root 3y that's the first equation now substitute this y is equal to 15 root 3 into that equation we will get square root 3 into 15 into square root 3 we know that root 3 into root 3 becomes 3 so x is equals to so x is equals to 15 into 3 so 15 times of 3 is 45 so height of the tower from the building is 45 meters Oh, it's not centimeters meters and the finally we are supposed to find the complete height the total height of of the tower which is height of the tower is x plus 15 which is nothing but the height of the tower from the building and the height of the building as well so which is x plus 15 so 15 plus 45 yeah so we just uh, we can conclude that the height of the tower is 60 meters i hope you understand this question thanks for watching